Five years ago, in Washington, D.C., Patrick Meyer began providing his own emergency response to natural disasters, even when in some cases, events were taking place on the other side of the planet. The computer analyst has created what he calls crisis maps. They are interactive maps incorporating information available free of charge from social media. They enable relief organizations to create a picture of the overall scenario as quickly as possible and then direct their support to where it's needed on the ground. What digital humanitarians do with these live crisis maps is help augment the awareness uh, that humanitarians have during the first 12 to 24 hours, right? This is really where we want to get to is within, in fact, hourly updates as soon as a disaster hits so that they have real-time information so that they can actually respond more quickly. He uses Micromappers. It's software with which anyone can evaluate comments and images. The user can click on a location to color code the level of devastation. Each item of data is checked by a number of users, thereby minimizing error. In Centerville, Virginia, Hillary Irvin is one of around 1,300 crisis mappers around the globe. The data analyst invests her free time in helping to evaluate information. I don't have to be in a particular location as long as I have a computer and internet connection or a telephone and a, you know, a SIM card in it, I can do something actionable. If that's you know uploading a tweet, if it's geolocating an image, whatever it may be, I know that the information that I am working with is feeding into a document or a, or a map that is being directly utilized by somebody on the ground that is providing services to communities that are affected by a disaster. Relief organizations like the American Red Cross benefit from the efforts of such volunteers. The crisis maps show where the help is most urgently required. It provides probably the quickest view of what's happening on the ground as well as uh, the most raw, uh, real, uh, individualized uh, information. So it's uh, very good for us to understand the viewpoint and perspective of the actual people who are affected and talking about it. Crisis maps are growing in use and numbers. The team at OpenStreetMap compiled one detailing the Ebola crisis in Western Africa. Google Maps is also making its data public, in this case covering the forest fires in Australia. Meanwhile, Patrick Meyer wants to take his maps to the next level. What we want to do is not just leverage social media and eyewitnesses who are on the ground taking a picture, putting it on social media, but hey, there are many journalists on the ground as well uh, who are taking pictures and they're sharing that for the news articles. We want to pull that from the mainstream media as well. So we're hoping this will create more relevant pictures for volunteers to filter through. Patrick Meyer is continually upgrading his life-saving software to get a better picture of emergency relief data. Shift says help is on the way.